Hey guys, it's YXBA here, and today I want to talk about a largely ignored part of Nintendo's potential future. Remember back in March of 2015 when Nintendo first announced the Nintendo NX was being worked on? They announced a partnership with Japanese mobile game creators DNA and announced that they would be making mobile games. Nintendo also heavily insinuated that they would be bringing games to PC as well. And they showed an image of their new business plan and how everything in the future that Nintendo does is going to be tied together through their My Nintendo membership service. That would extend to Nintendo's own dedicated hardware mobile devices, tablets, as well as PC. At this point, they focused heavily on the mobile side of this announcement. And I think that's because Nintendo was simply much further along on the development of their new mobile business than the development of their business on the PC. Also, I think that investors were simply more interested in the mobile side of it because that is the fastest growing segment of the gaming industry. Now you could completely make an argument stating that the PC component of this is just going to be maybe an application on your computer that allows you to purchase games for your Nintendo dedicated hardware and also maybe purchase games for your mobile devices as well. However, I don't think that Nintendo would have so prominently placed the PC on the imagery that they used together with the dedicated hardware, together with mobile and tablets, if their plan was just to come out with some sort of a app on PC that interacted with your other devices but didn't specifically do anything original targeting the PC space. However, let's not get to ahead of ourselves because there has been some more movement on this front at Nintendo since this initial announcement. In fact, Nintendo recently updated their company purpose to focus on the diversification of their IPs and more specifically that they want to reach as many people as possible with their IPs and not limiting themselves just to their own hardware. And interestingly, at their 76th annual general meeting, Nintendo voted on a number of amendments to their corporate structure. Now, this is done mainly for tax reasons. In Japan, they have to let the government know what their business is all about. So when you make some business changes, you have to make amendments to your corporation and let them know. So one overall statement they made about their company in that amendment document was that, and I quote, the company will add and change the purpose of the company in preparation for business diversification. And another very interesting phrase that came out of this amendment document was, and I quote, development, manufacturing, and sale of computer software. So there's a lot of people who have taken this quote and have tried to speculate about a great number of things, especially the manufacturing part. But I believe the manufacturing part is referring to basically the manufacturing of boxes and so on for their game software that potentially would be coming to the PC. And not necessarily that Nintendo is going to actually be making their own PC hardware. So it's important to note that none of this is 100% confirmation that Nintendo is going to be bringing games to the PC. But Nintendo has certainly laid the groundwork required for them to do that. So it's time for us to let the speculation run wild and I will give you some of my personal thoughts on this. First of all, why would Nintendo do something like this? Why would Nintendo seemingly start to diversify away from their own dedicated hardware and put games on what some would view as a competitive platform like the PC. 
all I'll say is people in the know, people on the inside of the industry are unanimously predicting that in the future, everything is going to end up being in the cloud and the days of having dedicated video game consoles in the current form that we are seeing them will eventually fade away. And everybody, Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo are all starting to develop some sort of a backup plan in order to survive in the future. Microsoft is going for a unified developer platform and unifying their PC experience as well as all of their consoles together in one unified ecosystem. Sony, on the other hand, has spent billions of dollars on cloud computing companies such as Gaikai and have already started to uh, sell cloud-based gaming to consumers via their PlayStation Now service and I would expect them to continue to expand upon that in the future. Sony has also gone to great lengths to develop their first-party studios and possibly set themselves up for a future where the PlayStation brand is just synonymous with the creation of games similar to how Sony Motion Pictures is not about being a platform holder, but being about the creator of films for people to go and see. And at first, all of this is really, really shocking, or at least it was really, really shocking to me. But I have to say, as a Nintendo fan, this potential future bodes extremely well for Nintendo. Out of the three main console manufacturers, Nintendo is by far the most well set up to adapt to a changing environment because Nintendo has always made the lion's share of their profits from their first party games. They are set up at their core as a company that develops software creatively and they don't just develop software because you're supposed to have exclusives if you're going to be in the console business. No, that is at the core, at the root of what Nintendo has always done, and their software also has universal appeal. I don't think that Uncharted would ever be as popular a game on mobile as Pokemon Go. So, no matter what happens, I think the future for Nintendo is very, very bright. All of this has led to speculation that maybe Nintendo will put their games on Steam at some point and put their latest and greatest games on Steam. Now, I don't think that that is something that is going to happen. Nintendo loves opportunities to not have to pay royalties to somebody else's store in order for people to buy their games. And they basically have admitted already that there's going to be some sort of application built for the PC, and it's tied into everybody's My Nintendo account. So. You can bet that if they're going to bring their games to PC, that they would create their own My Nintendo application for the PC, and the only way to buy those games would be directly from Nintendo. I think it's very likely that you will see virtual console type experiences coming to the PC at some point. There's already a demand on PC, and lots of people historically have actually emulated and basically stolen these games and basically played them for free on the justification that it's the only way that they can play those games on their PC. But if Nintendo gave them the opportunity to buy those games legitimately and receive more polished uh, and better versions of those games, I think that they would do extremely well on PC. And I don't think that this would cut into Nintendo's console sales at all, because honestly, it's a nice added feature that we can get virtual console games, but I don't know that too many people specifically buy a console just to play the virtual console games. Another interesting side note to all of this is I believe it gives further evidence that Nintendo NX is going to be using an x86 architecture. Because if Nintendo is going to be moving some of their titles over to PC at some point, it's way easier to do so if they have the similar architecture on their console as the PC. In terms of Nintendo's latest and greatest exclusive titles, coming to PC, I'm not ready at this point to speculate that that is going to be happening, at least certainly not day and date. 
I think they could do really, really well on the PC side of things if they released versions of older Nintendo games, original Nintendo, Super Nintendo, N64, GameCube, Wii, Wii U on the PC, and then maybe all of the original games that they're making be exclusive to their dedicated hardware, and maybe two or three years later you would bring them over to the PC. But I think there has to be some incentive to buy the dedicated hardware other than the innovative features and maybe the convenience factor of playing games on a console versus playing them on PC. However, if Nintendo did decide to actually put games like Zelda and Mario day and date on PC, I don't think that it would really cut into their dedicated hardware sales very much. You see, the thing is that Nintendo has always appealed to a family demographic for part of what they do, and I think that demographic is not looking to figure out how to hook up all kinds of different controllers and, and so on to their PC and figure out a way to run that to their television. Those consumers are looking for something that easily hooks up to the TV and just works automatically. And then the dedicated Nintendo fans, such as us, get a certain level of thrill out of playing Nintendo games on Nintendo hardware. However, they would be able to make a little bit more money off of their games and also remind gamers at large who are maybe PC focused that Nintendo is making great games still and those are people that likely aren't going to buy a Nintendo console just to play Nintendo IP. So I do think in a way it would actually be a good thing but overall I'm kind of hoping that they don't fully go that route at least not yet so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't get me wrong I think Nintendo is still completely vigorous about their dedicated hardware but they are definitely not going to be caught flat-footed if in the future gamers end up moving away from dedicated consoles and into different opportunities like cloud computing or perhaps people are playing all their games on PCs in the future that hook up to the television. Nintendo is just diversifying and making sure that their great games or great IPs never go away. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click like and if you want to hear more from me, please subscribe.